hello 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 beautiful babes it's sweet angel here and welcome back into sugar fingers absolutely man i look like a hot mess i know i know but listen i want you to stick and stay to the end because we're getting ready to take care of this hot mess right now so I guess this is a video I'll be doing forever and a day because everyone always asks. So I'm here for it. Yes, that's my homemade shampoo, my DIY. I will link the video down below in the description box if you need to check that out. That shampoo is what I'll be washing my hair with after I complete, guess what, my hair coloring today. First of all, before I get started with doing my hair color, I drench my hair with castor oil. You can use Jamaican black castor oil. I'm just using the regular castor oil, organic castor oil, and slathering that all over my hair. This is not only going to protect my skin, but it's going to protect my hair from not getting over processed, basically. So I always put up a whole lot of it on my hair so castor oil all of the products I'll be using today will be down in the description box for you to check out beautiful babes if you haven't subscribed to sugar fingers now's a good time to go ahead and do that I certainly do appreciate it now right now I also put this on my skin my skin my shoulders and uh, my forehead my neck area so that I will not have any of this on my skin directly on my skin because it may irritate some and I don't want it irritating me so that's why I do that so next I'll prepare to mix it all up now I'm using BW2 this is by Clairol professional BW2 powder lightener and I'll mix the BW2 with a developer you can use 10 or 20 which is recommended however I am using 50 volume developer what I do is take a old plastic container which this is one of my BW2 containers and I'll mix it all up to a creamy consistency there's really no rhyme or reason but you can take two cups of the powder or you can take one cup of the powder and one cup of the lightener but make sure that it is definitely definitely a creamy consistency so you can spread it all over your hair then mix it and mix it well yes and make sure there's no lumps no bumps and then you're ready to apply it all over your hair i just use this rat tail comb to mix it up with and then i apply it now i'm just hanging my head over the sink because it was a little bit drippy but you know try to make it as creamy as possible so it won't run and so forth so but um this is not the most pleasant thing to do ladies and gentlemen make sure you use some gloves I have been doing this for years so no I don't have on gloves but don't do as I do do as I say do because you may not want to damage your hands I do keep my hands utterly lubricated as you know before I even started I put plenty of castor oil all over my hands as well so make sure you just do that part of it now just apply it wherever you want your hair to be lightened at all over or if you want highlights Put it where you want it at now this process will take up to about 30 minutes i generally do not leave mine in my hair longer than about 15 definitely 20 minutes and that's the extent of it because of course i already have the blonde bleach blonde already i don't want to over process my hair but if you are new to it and you have virgin hair that has not been bleached before then it may take a little longer so it just depends on your preference as to what color you want or leave it on until you get the desired lightness you can also at the end of this sometimes i do sometimes i don't use a plastic cap over my hair a lot of times i don't because i just quickly do this before my shower don't go through any major extremes and main part i'm just trying to get my edges and you know in my roots but of course you know my hair is short so there's really no parting it off because no matter where i put it it's going to lighten the rest of it anyway 
Now just to reiterate, I do leave this on my hair about 15 minutes or so. Now if you want your hair texture to straighten out, I do kind of comb through mine just a little bit. That stretches my hair out, loosens those curls up, and makes it, you know, into a different look. I know a lot of people do have uh, naturally coily hair. Uh, 4C hair. Mine, of course, is not 4C, but this actually, I don't even have to put any kind of perm to straighten my hair. This will definitely loosen my curls tremendously initially. Now, they do come back after about a week or so and after I wash it, but initially it's really it really does straighten my hair quite a bit so here you see me putting on my plastic cap these you can get from amazon everything that i have generally comes from amazon uh it's on there it's easy to shop for you can get it right off of there so i'm just cleaning up around my face so nothing will run in my eyes and so forth and I'm done. It's just that simple. Let me just again mention to you that I am using a 50 volume developer. Okay? Don't, you don't have to go that extreme. Just me. I just do it that way. Again, 10 or 20 volume developer is perfect without a doubt. Now it's time for me to go ahead and wash this out. It's been, um, a little over 15 minutes so I'm going to use that DIY shampoo I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'll see you back in a sec and it's so 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 easy of course I am a DIY kind of girl so I do it myself yes indeed so I'm finished I've rinsed my hair out as you can see man those curls are so relaxed right now honey they are super super relaxed so I just dry my hair off really good and then I'll go ahead and start applying my products let me show you what I'll be using First, I'm going to moisturize my face. I'm going to use my best oil ever anti-aging serum that I showed you over on Beauty by Sweet Angel. If you haven't subscribed, do that now. My first step is to apply my glycerin to my hair. This is an humectant that's going to help lock in the moisture to my hair and make sure that it stays healthy then i go in with my lustrous s curl no drip curl activator smear that all over my hair rub it in really good and just lubricate the hair with it this again is another product that has glycerin that has glycerin in it and it's going to help as well my cantu moisturizing curl activator is another product that i put into my hair it takes all of this you strip so much out of your hair you have to put in the moisture nourishment back into the hair and these products are my holy grail and then from there I use my grow healthy milk and olive oil protein foaming mousse styling mousse that really helps me to really give my hair a different kind of style rather than wearing just a TWA then I comb all of those products through I comb them through brush them no I just comb through that's it and then I begin to style my hair of course right now I'm just making some waves they're not gonna stay like this but this is just how I started off and making some waves on the hair I did a waving video some time ago on how I hook up the waves in my hair if I remember to I'm gonna try to put it down in the description box but this is what I do once I finish doing that I just kind of push it into a certain spot just you know again making it look fuller and styling it getting it all together and so forth so just check out this process right here and um, then I'll swoop a little my baby hair down I call it baby hair I don't have any baby hair whatever that is I'm just gonna put some waves on the front of my hair and uh, style it push it up and make it look cute okay beautiful babes your girl is done again how i get this hair all blundified now you know bw2 yes and 50 volume developer that's it all right beautiful babes take care of yourself thank you so much for hanging out with me on sugar fingers today i really do appreciate it as always like comment subscribe and always 
keep the hair, the face, the hands, and the feet looking gorgeous. Toodles! So tell your goodness.